Hey, welcome to Earl Book. Today, um, this is myself, Earl, and Amanda. And today we are going to speak about trust issues. Who do you think has more trust issues in a relationship, men or women? Oh. Well, I, I would say um, women got more trust issues. You know, you get in the house, a woman look at you like, Where have you been? <laughs> exactly. You know, um, where you been? But uh, in saying that, some of us guys, you know, we behave a little bit funny just as after we get a little something, something extra. So it doesn't need somebody who is very intellect to understand that you've been out and done something, you know? So um, what do you think about that from a, a woman's standpoint? Well, um, trust issues, I, I think everyone's got. Everyone that has trust issues, it, it could be identified, both men or women. And, and for, for me, trust issue is a ton of. Like, for me, for a relationship to work out, the first thing we have to do is to learn to trust each other. Especially when we, we have um, worries or doubts, we could ask questions and expect an, an honest, you know? Yeah. And believe in what's been told us, because it, with, with trust comes... Um, constant assurance in the sense that if if you say you didn't move move the, the, the spoon off from the table and mm -hmm. it's true that you didn't move it yep then I will learn to trust you but if if you had to say no I, I, I didn't move it you did yep you know afterwards it just kills the trust so yeah but some some okay some women what they do and I find this bad. They bring their past into their present. Oh yeah, it's really, really. I know it's. So if you bring your past into your present, I don't even know why I you know. moved on because you haven't moved on. It's hard not to, especially if you if you've been hurt before. Yeah. And if you see traces of things that happened before happening again, mm -hmm. even when it's not really what what you're thinking or what your fears is pointing out, mm -hmm. you know, to be um, danger, it's probably not anything harmful. And sometimes, yeah. It does, yeah, that's the whole big part of things that bring in trust issues. It's just quite difficult. Yeah, you know, you got um, you to be very careful about doing that, though. Because let's say if you bring your past into your present, where are you going to be treating your present like your past? Yeah, but guys do that as well. Like you if, know? A, if a guy dated a girl that's that to him has not been faithful mm -hmm. or has no respect or stuff like that, he yeah. ends up thinking all women or all females are like that. Yes, um, and then it, the person walks around same. with this wall of, over over them, like they don't really let people get really close mm -hmm. to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what you, you what you what I find is that um, some women say, "Oh well, I don't trust you because Johnny wasn't faithful." Um, I don't know why have they entered into a new relationship if you haven't moved on. You're like, yeah, I have moved on, but yeah, you remind me of Johnny when he went out and cheated with the next door neighbor. <laughs> you know? Um, that becomes an issue there. I know. You know, so y you really have to... Try not to get our past and, into... Yes. Your past into your present. You know? Just a Shining too much, or do you think? Am I shining too much? No, no. I think it's perfect. Okay, this is fine. Okay. What does it mean? What do you mean, shining? No, 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 no. You shine. I'm seeing. I just thought you were shining. Okay, I have. Yeah. Um. Let's continue this about the trust issues. Now. I've known friends say, oh, they've stepped in the door and their wife starts sniffing them. <laughs> you know, they'll be treated like if they're passing through the airports. <laughs> Security check. Yeah, they're like, you know, um, have you ever done that? No, I, I, no, no, I don't, I don't even have the energy or time for that. The only thing that I know that I've probably done is 
I confess I've checked the phone before. I'm not supposed to. That was back in the day. Now, now I don't really try not to get myself to do that. There's but that's the worst. It's saying if you're going looking for something, your you're going to find something. I know. Going through someone's yeah. phone or nine to nine percent of the time. Emails or private. Nine to nine percent of the time. If you're looking, you're going to find. I know. Yeah. So. Women and men. Even find things twisted. that doesn't really have meaning and it just automatically starts to... But the brain is that, a funny thing. Yeah, it builds that idea in yeah. your head that something's going on when nothing's exactly. actually going on. Exactly. That, that, that's why I say the brain is a funny thing. What it does, it preconceives certain things like, oh, this person is like this. And you start going along thinking that person is like that. And you start treating that person as if they're like that. So you got to be very, very careful of trying, um, of trying to treat someone like that they are not. So what a person is gonna turn around? You could either turn around and you get somebody who's, who's, say that they're in love with you. They'd be like, yes, yes, Amanda, <laughs> yes, 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 and you know, people go out and say, oh. What a lovely relationship they're in. And then next day you hear, oh, what else too? Oh, they divorced, you know. It's sad. Yeah, so <laughs> treat people the way you want it to be treated. treated. Yes, and believe me, life is opposite equal. It is. Some, some people feel that... Um, Okay, I checked their excuse. I checked your phone. Yeah, you can check mine. Yeah, take go and check mine. It doesn't really work that way. Lie, man. I know these guys. They got two phones. The one they give you to check is not a real one. <laughs> I don't think so. This yeah. one I saw on Facebook. This guy had his um, is it iPhone saved or with his with with his toe print? His girl came when he was sleeping, took his finger and was touching it. Let it open, open the password, yeah. no. As soon as she walks away, he makes the phone, takes his shoe off, and then uses toe. I was losing my mind. Yes, yes, yeah, you know, people the same. So all those people who think they're inspectors and stuff could be checking stuff, you could get set up. It's true. You could get set up, and then what's happening? If I want out a relationship, what I'll do, I'll go set something up, and then when you come, you start looking, you like, oh, you know, yeah. Well, you've done this, you've done that, and I'm like, you know, I'm fed up with you. See you later, I'm gone. Most people don't like fe feeling not trusted. I wouldn't yeah, like exactly. to be in a relationship where I don't think I, that my man trusts me. Mm -hmm. I think with the trust gives someone the courage yeah. and, and the ability to say, oh, I don't, I don't want to mess up with that trust because, oh, he trusts me so much, I better do the right thing. I don't know for other people, but for me, yeah, but... Trust is really, really, really essential in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Without trust, you know, the whole thing crashing down. Yep, yep, yep. You got, you know, you got to be very careful of that. You know, who you decide to trust and who you distrust. There are people that can't stand, like a man or a woman that can't stand you talking to an opposite sex in front of them. Like, even if it's just pleasantries, hi, hello, they just. Their yeah. countenance just changed. They just don't like it. Yeah. What I do you call that? I understand that. But then, you know, you, you got some guys, they be looking at you. You might be looking hot and they, they know that you're going out with someone else. Oh, yeah. They and they stand up there with, like, mm. oh, they lip, licking their lips and looking at your woman. <laughs> no, you get bust in the head for that. <laughs> no, no. Anybody will no, bust no. you in the head. And even if you, you, you'll be six foot seven tall, you be looking at a man's woman and licking your lips like, ah, baby, a man with four foot tall would but just it, bust you in okay the head. It's okay for people to look and admire. The only part that gets really, really painful is if in the relationship, maybe the female is stared at or the man is stared at and the female starts to get up upset why people stare at you like that. Come on. Yeah, well, you know. He's probably good looking. Or if you didn't hot. want nobody stare, you should have gone and get ugly, man. <laughs> <laughs> or if you didn't want nobody look, it's true. go and get an ugly woman. <laughs> Point. Yeah. Point. So, um, you know, that's what I'm saying.
do unto others as you would like to be, to. be if, done unto you. If you want to be you. trusted, you have to learn to trust. Trust other people. If you, if you want to, to, to have the best relationship, keep an open mind and stop yep. thinking negatively. Oh, he's gone out, he's smelling of, um, oh, there's a lipstick yeah, on his neck. Of, he's probably yeah, been exactly. out with, No, he could probably probably hug the colleague that doesn't know. Some people get confused in the middle uh, of a hug and we don't know where to, oh, oh, sorry. Yes. And then you come home, you're like, where have you been? And that's, you're bringing up a headache over nothing. Exactly. That's, really that's, there a, for. that's the time when the man go outside and, or you could go and buy a sweetie and never come back, you know? I know people <laughs> be like, yeah, baby, hang on, I'm going to the corner shop to buy a sweetie. Never that's come back. Not that. Never I come know. back. So please, um, all those people who know themselves that nag man and woman. Yeah, there's enough, there's plenty man nag, you know. Man and woman out there that nag. Don't do it to your partner. And that's for this version of Earl Bow today. This is Earl and Amanda. Thank you.